Good morning guys from another video here in Pakistan, specifically in Lahore. But not for long, we're gonna be heading down to, or up to, Islamabad today. With the usual Brit, we got Harry over here chilling. Hello, hello, good morning guys. And you can already tell we've got some energy in us. We got quite a few coffees already, three of, uh, three of them in us by 10.25 a.m. We're waiting for our boy, uh, Mohammed who's gonna be here any minute now and he's gonna take us over to a bus station near the airport called Q Connect because today guys, we're going to be taking, hello, hello, we've got everyone honking, because today we're going to be taking a luxury bus for about four hours from here in Lahore to Islamabad. So excited to share with you guys the amenities, the ride to get there, and it's gonna be a close one though. It's 10.26 a.m., the bus leaves at 11 a.m. and right now, it says we're gonna arrive. Our drop off is at 10.55 a.m. The clock is ticking. That's Mohammed right there. Salam alaikum, Mohammed. All right, let's pop the trunk, get her loaded up, and uh, get a move on it. The clock is ticking. Shukriya yar. Salam alaikum, Mohammed. Nice to meet you. I'm Kesa, hey, I'm good. Tige, and you? Shukriya. We'll see you next time, Hassan. Thank you, thank you. Oh, we got seat belts up front. Sorry, no hey. need If you want to. Okay, oh, better safe than sorry, my friend. No problem. Only driver. No, oh, and and passengers. As my dad always said, the life you save may be your own. Uh -huh, words of wisdom. <laughs> You're not <supposed> to say. <laughs> my dad has a lot of sayings. We don't know. Somebody is coming and make an accident and then. Mm, no. But belt is safety. Belt is safety, yep. Yeah. That's good. That is very good. So we got about 25 minutes, guys. It looks like based on Mohammed's GPS, we're gonna arrive at 10.53 a.m. I'm actually gonna text the uh, bus company as well, guys, to let oh, them know we're in route. So I'll keep you guys updated on how today's adventure goes because this keeps the suspense. It makes things a little more interesting, both for us, Harry and I, uh, in the moment right now, as well as you guys watching, because we actually don't know yet if we're gonna make it. So we're gonna find out. Salam! <laughs> we got a laugh out of Mohammed. <laughs> so Mohammed just filled me in that uh, apparently people don't understand if I just say salam. I need to say assalamu alaikum. Then he, that's, that's why he didn't reply. Yeah, Mohammed's having a good time. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again guys. Let's try this again. We'll do the full time. We gotta find someone. Alright, we got oh we're going too fast for him. Salam alaikum! Oh, there we go. We got a wave out of him. Yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, Mohammed. All right, we're learning some new things, guys. I say, can you, before one day with me? Okay, you are too much happy. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, one day with Mohammed, you'll be a happy guy, that's for sure. As you guys can see, we're cruising on our way over to the bus station. Some very nice houses over here. These are, must be like the Lahore mansions. And they're all gated in with like garage codes to open it. Definitely, this is the rich part of uh, Lahore. Expensive Lahore. Yeah, this is expensive place. Yeah. Very DHA. nice houses. DHA? DHA. Uh, that's the name of the district? Uh, no, no. Uh, only area. Area. Society. 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 Uh, right. DHA Society. DHA, DHA Society. Yeah, it's uh, very expensive out here, you can tell. Ah, uh, there it is. Yeah, the sign DHA. Salam Alaikum. He didn't want to say hi. Must have the case in the morning. Salam. Oh, they understood salam. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't think we've been to this side of Lahore yet. Ah, this is Batachon. Batachon, yeah? Yeah. Good place in the city. Yeah, good place for the DHS society. And safe. Anything safe, I mean, shops, many things. Many uh, fresh near vegetables. Near the bus stand. Ah, nice, nice. All right, guys, so we're pulling up. You see the sign there, Metro Cash and Carry Pakistan. We got Mohammed getting there, it's us there just in time. We're pulling up at 10.49 a.m. We've got the entrance here. And then after we get the, oh, we've got a special little guard entrance to go to. That's good. Makes us feel safer if we know that uh, we have a uh, guard entrance to get through. But Mohammed's gonna get us through there safely, yeah? Well, for giving, the window. giving out advertisements? Yes. Oh, very nice. I expected him to interview us. Oh, no, thank you. Q Connect, guys. These are luxury buses called Business Buses Q Connect. And I'm guessing this station right there is where we go inside of. Mohammed Shukriya, my friend. The name of the channel is right there on the card. YouTube okay, World Nomad and Harry. Okay, Mohammed, Mohammed Shukriya. Okay, Shukriya. He's a good man, very good man okay, here. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Well. Thank you. All right, let's get this thing unloaded here. 
All right, we got bag number. We got a lot of stuff here, guys, so. And that is that. Shukriya, Mohammed. Thank you. All right, guys, that was saved by the bell, as they say. So let's see what we got to do to get these tickets. All right, and we have arrived. We've booked tickets for the 11 a.m. For uh, Mac candy. Passport number 6600. Uh, there's the one. 1700. Shukriya. Can we get on the bus right away? Yeah, you want to check it? Uh, it's a four hour bus? Four and a half. Four and a half. All right, perfect. Best bus in Pakistan, yeah? Yes. Perfect, perfect. Shukriya. So we got our bags uh, ready to go on here, guys. Oh, tickets. Shukriya. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, luckily we made it just in time to the bus. This is the luxury bus we're going to be taking. Four and a half hours to get there and about 3,300 rupees. So that's roughly $18. So let's head on. Hello. Salam alaikum. Uh, that's for him and me. Shukriya. Oh, this is luxury. This is definitely luxury. So it looks like this is what, a 21 person bus? And where are the numbers on the seats? Uh, excuse me? What seat number are you? 4A. 4A, so maybe we're two more back. Shukriya. Six all the way back here then? I guess we'll find out, guys. If they move us. There you are. We UK got a and US. Good name, Avkar? Wakar. Wakar, that's a great name. Yeah, thank you so much. You're from Islamabad? Uh, I'm from uh, Gilgit Baltistan, so it's uh, ah, okay. It's where the K2 is, the mighty K2. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a nice place, I hear. Yeah, it's a very cool place. So. Hoping to visit, inshallah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You must visit. I'd love to. Is this, uh, so this is the best bus in Pakistan, yeah? Yeah, this is one of the well, most comfortable bus in Pakistan. Yeah, good, good point. Because I'm laying back here. It's like we're in a lazy boy, guys. Oh, I could literally live on this thing. We've got a uh, TV screen up front. We've got uh, some nice trim here. What do we got down here? Oh, oh yeah. And we've got a tray table. That's it's a little tight here. You can move your seat back from here. So we've got a seat mover. Oh, oh, it's electric guys. <laughs> All right, let's maybe put this thing away. So we've got outlets down there too. Now I see why they call it the luxury bus. Yeah, yeah let's see if we can figure this out guys. The uh, seat mover is, oh, there we go. We're shipping backwards, much, much better, guys. I didn't realize those controls were there, so actually I thought I was gonna be sitting a little tight for the bus ride, but good news is we're gonna be in a better place. And now actually, look in here, you can even recline out, oh yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And now we have arrived to the position we wanna be in. Maybe we're gonna go back too here, guys. Let's try that out. Oh, oh. Looks like we've hit the limit there. But uh, this is pretty nice. What do you think, bro? I'm trying to learn how to recline mine. But I would say, yeah, pleasantly surprised. I've, I've never been on a bus this luxurious in my life. And it's only four and a half hours. It's not a huge distance. But we got TVs, we got amazingly comfy chairs. Do they have Wi Fi? Uh, hopefully. Would, I think they do. The, yeah, that'd be the game changer. That would be the cherry on top. Uh huh. We even got, oh, we got a little air. That's gonna be necessary. It's a little warm on the bus at the moment. And multiple buttons, looks like that's a drink button. It kind of reminds me of an airplane, the way it's laid out. Except the whole bus is first class. So that is pretty sweet, if you ask wow. me. Oh, the man is testing it out. I've seen the Friends, the Friends episode where they, uh, you watch Friends. No, no, no. <laughs> Ignore me then. <laughs> Oh, YouTube. We can even watch YouTube. That's, uh, we should put on some uh, <laughs> Harry, Harry Jaggard TV. All right, the tour continues here. We've got the uh, little banyo here. Let's check it out and see. Oh, let's see if it actually works. There we go. We got, oh, we got lock, open, close. Yeah, it's quite, quite clean in here. Much cleaner than the train, I'll tell you that. Yeah, it smells all right too. And it looks like, you know what I was saying, it kind of reminds me of a plane. It's similar in terms of that we got a microwave on board, so we'll probably get some snacks. Oh, looks like they're even surfing the web back here. Ready for some coffee, ready for some sodas and waters. And as you can see, they've got the full unit. That must be where all the Wi-Fi comes in. Doesn't seem like it's gonna be a full bus today or people are just taking a bit longer because it seems like we're only at like 30% capacity. I'm gonna sneak back past Harry here and we've even got a pillow here. I missed that before. Yeah, let's try that out. Oh, sorry guys, fell asleep there. 
Oh, all right, well, let's get this journey going. All right, guys, the journey has begun. I'm not entirely certain how we open up this shades here, but, uh, oh yeah, figured it out. They said, let there be light. It's cruising through that same area that Mohammed took us through. So, uh, yeah, it looks like Harry's getting ready to start grinding. No days off. So here we go. Might as well get this place all set up, ready for the grind station. And if we find anything interesting along the way, guys, I'll share it with you as, long, as well as once we can figure out what types of things we can order. If it's just drinks, food, whatever, I'll share that with you guys in just a bit. What's your good name? <laughs> Aksa, nice to meet you, Aksa. We got uh, Harry and Mac. Uh, we're just filming a little YouTube video on the way, so hope you don't mind. Is that okay? okay. Perfect, perfect. There's Wi-Fi on the bus? Oh, perfect. Shukriya. And you guys know what time it is? It is speedtest.net time. Oh, all right. That speed test answers it. No internet. All right. Trying that again and again. Seems like we're fully connected up here, as you can see, guys, but uh, no direct signal to the internet. All right. Nothing like a little handy dandy reset here. Let's do a little speed test. See what we've got going on. Oh, Shukriya. Shukriya. We've got water on the go there. Perfect. And pretty decent Wi-Fi, actually. This is uh, just as fast as Pearl Continental, <laughs> and we're on a bus. So that's uh, a little interesting for me to see that. But uh, yeah, that's download speeds. And what about upload? That's going to be the real question. Oh, baby, baby. Wow. At 12 mega, 13 megabytes a second. Do we have 14? Do we have 14? Oh, we have 14. And do, oh, we're down to 12. You're playing with me. You're playing with me. Down to 11, down to 11, to 11. Do we have 10? Do we have 10? Oh, 10.8 upload speed, so. That is great. On the bus while we're cruising here, guys. Of course, I'm sure that goes up, up and down when we're in various places around the country, because right now we're still in the city. So once we're in the rural areas, unless it's satellite, that part I don't know, I can't tell you. But maybe in about two hours from now when we're somewhere very rural, I'll do another speed test for you guys, just so you have an idea in case maybe you're gonna be someone that's working on the bus, need video calls or whatever. I'll let you know if that connectivity stays the whole time. Oh, we've got mango juice, shukriya. This looks delicious. This is what we call a uh, World Nomad Slam. Here we go. Oh yes, nothing quite like a mango juice, guys. That's one of my favorite juices. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that, but it's rare you get served it, so. Props to Q-Connect. I'm happy with the service, very happy. All right, guys, so my question that I asked before has been answered. Here on Q-Connect, you can have a lot of different options here. We have Pakistani traditional food, like chicken ginger, dalmash, mixed vegetables, continental style, chicken with cashews, a couple other options, burgers, sandwiches, even pizza. Mm-mm, good. I wonder if that's included, because there's no prices. Let's ask our brother. Hey, brother, are that, is this free? No, uh, it's a 600 per, per item. So you can also get a chance, they will stop you in the middle. Yeah. So there are a lot of options up there. Okay. You will get a chance to buy from there too. Oh, halfway there, yeah? Yeah. yeah oh, perfect, perfect. So perfect. It's, it's up to you, it's fine, you can buy from there. Or much i really appreciate it so you heard it from our buddy uh he had mentioned that we're going to be stopping halfway through this journey two hours in and so you don't necessarily have to buy food on the bus you can buy some at the rest stop so figured i'd share it with you guys we actually just ate before we left so i don't know about harry but uh i don't think i'll be eating right now maybe another drink beverage or something like that so guys we're about halfway into the ride here and the internet stayed pretty stable i've kind of been using it on and off and we are probably somewhere in the country really seem like we're near any big cities. Still a similar, maybe a little less pollution out here. But actually my buddy, uh, Luke Demant, he, he saw one of my stories about how smoggy it was out here. And he told me that this time of year, farmers are burning a lot of crops. And so that contributes to why it's so smoky in the air. So just a, a fun fact for you. Guys, it looks like we're arriving to the stop area. And it's definitely a westernized food chain area. We had a Dunkin' Donuts back there. We've got a Hardee's right here. Guy with a shotgun, just in case someone tries to steal a burger. And then we've got uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken right there. Oh, McDanklin's down there too. Oh, we got a little bit of everything, bro. Hope you're hungry. This is, this is Chow Central, bro. Oh yeah, they got, they got McDanklin's. Of, of Dank. Yeah, the best of the best. Oh yeah, salt and pepper too. Mm-mm, good. Oh, they got McDanklin's. Uh-huh. 
I don't think we've taken you guys to a McDanklins here in Pakistan yet, have we? Or a McDanklins in Dankistan, let's go. All right, taking a quick little pit stop over here. How much time do we have? 15 minutes, yeah? Shoot, yeah. All right, oh, we've got Pizza Hut over there. So there's quite a, quite a plaza, quite a plaza over here. We're gonna get a little McDonald's over here and uh, test it out. Cause I always try and have McDonald's at least once in every country I go to because it's just fun to compare the consistency. Seems like this McDonald's is on a bit of a lockdown though. We've got a uh, metal detector right there. So I'll see you once we get inside. All right, guys, we made it inside McDonald's. They have it nice and easy in this McDonald's here. We're getting a little uh, takeaway. Let's see what we've got for options here. What am I hungry for? So we've got a lot of chicken options. It seems like chicken, oh, this is all promotions. So we got offers there, cancel that. So we got the regular menu. Oh, there's beef, all right. So you can get Big Macs. Oh, you can even get a double Big Mac. I don't know if I'm that hungry, but we're gonna, we're gonna get something good. A McRoyale. That might be the move. Let's go with a McRoyale. What size do you like? Uh, just the, just the regular, yep. And then is there a way, oh yeah, customized, there it is. So guys, I'm not, I like tomatoes actually, but not on burgers for some reason. So we're gonna take the tomatoes off. We're going to, what are we gonna take off here? We got mustard, ketchup, mayo, fresh onions, pickles. All right, we'll leave the rest of that on. That all sounds good. Apply those changes and I think that's about all we'll do today. Small fry, that, that'll work, that'll work. Thank you. Oh. Oh, click it. There we go. Oh, we got a couple different options. Vanilla shake. Uh-huh. Got me on the upsell there. I'm I'm good with that. And no thank you to that. And we'll go ahead and finish off the order there. So at counter. We'll, at counter. All right. So we'll get the payment over there. Proceed to checkout. Thank you so much. So 1000 It's about six U.S. dollars for us to get in here. Shukriya. All right, guys. So, oh, this McDonald's is a little fancy here. We've got quite a few options. Oreo cheesecake. That is yelling my name, but I've honestly had too many desserts, so we'll skip that. And it looks like we uh, pay over here for the meal. Salam alaikum. Oh, it's just on me. Don't worry, Osama. Thank you, though. It's not pointed towards staff. All right, guys, got myself a uh, fresh McDonald's meal. So we'll give an idea of what it tastes like once we go out here. Shukriya. Shukriya. All right. And let's see how this McDonald's tastes. That shake is calling my name right now, guys. No sign of Harry. Must be getting that KFC. I gotta figure out what city we're in because it's actually crazy how many restaurants there are over here. And it seems like we have a bunch of other buses hanging out over there. And yeah, I mean, there's gotta be like 30 restaurants all the way around. Because there's more I didn't even show you guys when we first drove in because I didn't realize we had just arrived here. Definitely, we're not the only ones with the idea to make a stop over here. Made it back on the bus. Assalamu alaikum, my friend. And here we are, we're back to headquarters. Guys, I think we gotta go on a mission to look for Harry. We can't find him. The bus is gonna be leaving, so let me go look for him. Guys, we're on a hunt for Harry. I don't know where he is hiding at, but we're gonna find him. We're not letting the, the man get left behind. So here we go. Harry, wherever you are, bro, we're gonna find you. He's probably just over there enjoying his KFC. Living it up has no idea the bus is about to leave. Oh, and we almost got nailed. Oh, Harry, bro, the bus is about to leave. They just sent me to go get you. Yes, I did. You can just have half my burger. You sure? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, you already ordered? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, okay, cool, cool. Then yeah. she knows I'm off, too. I don't think they're going to leave, but she's just like, I'll where's your it. friend? Where's your friend? Really? And I texted you, but I realized you don't have service. Yeah, the, the, the hair man was about to move into KFC. I was thinking, ah, this will be home for the next few days. Exactly. You'd have some good chow, though. That's, that's at least the nice part is, He'd be eating good, Kentucky Fried good. The hair man just took things into his own hands. He's running. The line was really long, sorry for that. Okay, let's see, there he is. All right guys, good news is we've got the McDonald's. No time to waste here, let's try out this uh, shake. Oh, guilty pleasure right here guys, a vanilla shake. The consistency is real too. It tastes just like um, any McDonald's shake I've had anywhere in the world. I'll give them that. They do a nice job with it. You definitely get what you expect. But now, guys, I'm gonna have my first ever McRoyal. I don't even know what necessarily a McRoyal means. It kind of reminds me of a Whopper at Burger King. Bun's a little stiff, but uh, yeah, it seems like it'll be all right. Let's try it out. Mm, definitely a 
of dry McDonald's. The burger's very dry. Even with all the ketchup and fixings on it. I feel like the buns are a bit stale, but not bad. Generally speaking, quality tastes almost identical. Beef tastes fresh, same with the cheese. Alright guys, and last, but not least, actually yeah, in my opinion, these, these fries are my least favorite out of the meal, but... Alright, so the fries... Definitely a bit stale. I feel like they might have been sitting in their uh, little hot box area for quite a bit. Less salt than a usual McDonald's, or um, a McDonald's that I've had. Maybe it's normal in Pakistan to have less salt. But generally speaking, the fries taste almost identical. If there was more salt on them, if they were a fresh batch, I'd consider them identical to everywhere I had in the world. And McDonald's. Alright guys, that was a good meal. We got uh, Harry just chowing down over oh, here man. on some uh, KFC. Pretty good? Yeah, yeah, very, very good. And they've got a lot of salt on the chips and uh, the chicken is a little bit spicy, but yeah, very nice meal. That's the good stuff. So it's opposite then because my McDonald's fries had very little salt compared to usual. <laughs> but anyways, guys, this is the scenery out here. You probably can't see it in the GoPro, but way, way in the distance, probably 20 kilometers away, there's mountains out there. So if we get a little closer, I'll show them to you guys. But as you can see, just generally speaking, the landscapes are really starting to get much greener the further we go up. Well, as soon as I said that, now they got yellow here. But generally speaking, I think a lot of this is also farmland too. So yeah, we're cruising up maybe another hour 45 and uh, if more exciting things happen, we'll definitely uh, show you guys on the way. As you guys can see, the uh, landscape's changed quite a bit. We dozed off for a little bit there and uh, woke up and it's looking much different than down south, that's for sure. Guys, it looks like we're starting to reach the uh, outskirts of Islamabad. You can already tell the visibility here is so much further. And there aren't as many tall buildings, at least in this area. I'm excited to check this place out. It's going to be a whole new experience. It already seems like in terms of the infrastructure just driving down the road, a bit more modern and more structured. I think we've got to be somewhere around like 10 minutes away because I looked on Google Maps here. And we are just crossing the uh, line here that separates the two cities. I guess they call Islamabad Twin Cities because it's right next to Rawal Pindi. Well, by the looks of it, Islamabad is pretty busy, too. Oh, we got this little guy trying to sneak in. There he goes. He's taking the W now. Seems like we're just about arriving to the bus station, maybe one or two minutes. Shukriya, Allah Hafiz. Thank you so much. Ah, really nice bus journey, guys. Honestly, so comfortable. The luxury bus is the way to go. Honestly, I think I like it a little bit more than the train transportation, too. Because you're in a recliner, you know? That was better than the, uh, the train transportation we did. All right. It is very bright out. Salam alaikum. We have made it. To Islamabad, our good friend here. He's my cousin. Uh, ah, it's a Sharafad. pleasure. Sharafad. He Great runs name. an uh, adventure company. Oh, yeah. So they have their own, they take people to K2 base camp, across cultural camps to China, Central Asia, and all Oh, about. sweet. To China. Nice. Very nice country and great people. So, Sharafat's uh, house is like Airbnb kind of thing in Skardu. Okay. It's totally culturally made oh, with sweet. You know, food <laughs> on the yeah. center of the, you know, home. And his uncle is one of the best photographers. Yeah. And so you can you can get a chance to meet him too. I will just send him his contacts in case in case if you need it. So yeah. I'll, I'll and message you yeah, and sure. then you send yeah. me that. You just visit Perfect. there if you like it. You just yeah, go anytime. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Uh, I'll actually my father has the company. Okay. Oh, perfect. Uh, a, a, a kind of family business. Oh, uh, awesome. In this business since uh, three de decades. Oh, oh, sweet. So you guys know the place pretty well then. Yeah. Yeah, sweet, sweet. Well, shukriya. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, really well. appreciate so all it. All the very best, guys. You know. Thank yeah, you. thank you. Really appreciate it. Yeah, all the best. All right. You. Bye -bye. See you guys. Goodbye. All right, guys. We have just gotten off the bus. We're looking for our driver. But uh, yeah, it was a really awesome bus overall, like I was saying. Definitely would recommend you guys to take this one. It's efficient, drops you off pretty close to the city, and it's a great time. So that's where I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video, guys. If you've enjoyed checking out the luxury bus with me, coming to McDonald's too, you know, living, living large there, then uh, make sure you guys hit that like button. And if you wanna see more videos, both here in Pakistan and all around the world, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.